Isis and Osiris. A long time ago, the god Osiris came to Egypt to rule as king. He brought the Egyptian people new laws and taught them how to farm well and live peacefully in their villages. Osiris was a very wise and powerful king and was loved and respected by the Egyptian people. Unfortunately, his brother Seth was very jealous of his brother's power in Egypt. and began to form a plan to kill Osiris and take over his throne. Late one night, Seth tiptoed into Osiris's bedroom, careful to not wake up Osiris or his queen, the goddess Isis. Seth measured Osiris's body from top to bottom and from side to side. The next morning, Seth took the measurements to a carpenter who made a beautiful wooden chest decorated with bright paint and sheets of gold. That night, Seth threw a huge party and invited Osiris as the guest of honor. The night was spent feasting, singing, dancing, and playing games. For the final game, Seth brought out the huge wooden chest. He announced that the first person to fit perfectly into the chest would be allowed to keep it. One by one, each of Seth's friends climbed into the chest. Unsurprisingly, no one was able to fit into the chest which was made perfectly for Osiris. Finally, Seth and his friends convinced Osiris to try his luck with the chest. Osiris stepped into the chest and lay down. The chest fit him perfectly, just as Seth had planned. Just as Osiris lay down, Seth slammed the lid and sealed it shut. Seth and his friends took the chest down to the Nile River and dumped it in, knowing that Osiris would never be able to survive. When Isis heard the news of her husband's death, she was extremely upset. She rushed to the riverbank, and after several days of searching, found the wooden chest. Isis opened it and removed the dead body of her beloved Osiris. Crying, Isis hid Osiris's body in the river grass. She didn't want Seth to find Osiris's corpse before she could perform the proper rituals that would allow him to pass into the afterlife. Late that night, Seth returned to the Nile to make sure Osiris's body had washed away. The chest was nowhere to be found, but after searching the riverbank grass, he found the body of his late brother. Furious, Seth cut Osiris's body into fourteen pieces. To make sure that the body was never found again, he hurled the pieces all over Egypt. The next morning, Isis returned to the river with her sister Nephthys and her friends, to perform the necessary rituals, only to find Osiris's body gone. Isis transformed into a huge bird and flew high over Egypt. Using her sharp vision, she was able to find all the pieces of the body to put Osiris back together. With the help of Nephthys, Thoth, and Anubis, Isis performed a great act of magic. Very carefully, they began to sew Osiris's body back together. They worked together night after night. When the body was whole once again, they wrapped it head to toe in strips of linen, creating a mummy. On the night of the full moon, Isis used powerful magic to bring her husband back to life. Osiris embraced Isis and thanked her sister and her friends. He told them he would not be able to stay in the world of the living. He explained that having died, he needed to travel to the world of the dead, where he would become the king of the afterlife. Before he left, Osiris told Isis not to worry. He told her that she would soon give birth to a son, Horus, who would defeat Seth and become a great protector of the Egyptian people. By taking back the throne from Seth, Horus would restore order and peace to the universe. When Horus was born, he was hidden away and kept safe from his evil uncle Seth. When he became of age, Horus finally confronted Seth, and they violently fought. During the fight, Horus's left eye was poked out, but magically came to life. Later on, the Wadjet, or Eye of Horus, became a powerful symbol to promote healing. Although Horus emerged victorious, 
there was still a large question of who legally had power to the throne. Seth believed that as Osiris's brother, he was the rightful ruler, but Horus argued that he should be proclaimed king, since he was Osiris's legitimate heir. Ultimately, it was decided that Horus would rule on earth as king. Seth was banished forever.